Okay, welcome back. Now, hopefully you had an opportunity to learn uh, how to use the different commands to control your Sphero Mini because now we're actually going to have a competition amongst the groups to see who can program their Sphero Mini to get through an obstacle course the fastest. So what does that obstacle course look like? Well, let's go on over and take a look. So let's take a look at the Droid programming course layout. As you can see here, these are the materials that you're going to need um, for each group here. The Droid or Sphero Mini in our case. Your tablet, the Fire Tab, if you have, or if you have an iPad, the Sphero EDU app, and then some cones. And if you have some tape, like blue masking tape, that'll work as well. So we're gonna build our course, which is over here, okay? So you'll have a starting point. Uh, you'll, these orange circles here are cones. They represent the cones here. And so you'll need six cones, right, per group, because each group will make their own course, okay? Each group will make their own course. And so so that you can drive your Sphero Mini on that course, okay? So here's, you'll have a starting line, um, which will be either some sort of masking tape or something, just just uh, taped to the floor. And you'll also have a finishing line, okay? And so then you'll have to use a tape measure to actually measure between the cones here. And you'll see in the image on the next slide what that looks like in real life okay and so this is what's called a plan view so this is as if we were in uh, let's imagine if we were on on the ceiling looking down this is what it would look like on the floor okay so you have your cone you'd have to measure then to the next cone three feet this here is actually five feet and we know that because it's five feet here and then this overall length over here is 10 feet so 10 minus five leaves this section here to be five feet. Then we wanna go over four feet and then all the way down another 10 feet, okay? And so as you make changes to your program, it's important that you start at the same point because any change you make, if you're starting at a different point, then you won't uh, see the results of those changes, okay? So whether you pick a point here in the middle or closer here to this cone, it's really up to your team, all right? So, you need to start, go all the way around. Don't go past this cone, but then come up around. You see where the arrows are all the way down to the finish line, okay? And the goal is to program this for a mini to go around and come back to the finish line here, okay? Um, now this is gonna be important in the next session when you're doing your competition because you're gonna have to program, whoever can program it the fastest to get through the course will actually be the winner, okay? And so. This means you need to work as a group, no bickering, <laughs> um, no fighting. Just make sure that you're working together to get through the programming as quickly as possible. And you guys can take turns adding commands so that everybody gets an opportunity to, uh, to work on the program, okay? So here's the course, this is what it looks like, all right? Here's your blueprint, okay, for laying out the course in, in real life. And so what does it look like once you have it actually laid out? So this is what it looks like, okay, or what it should look like. Um, you got cone here, cone here. Again, the six cones, all right? Um, and this, these blue lines won't be there. This is just so you can kind of see how they're connected. Um, and this, these are the, the lengths of those distances between the cones, okay, for each section, all right? Exactly what you saw on the previous slide but here's what it should look like kind of in real life, right? And so now that you kind of see how it's laid out, um, you're gonna be able to get your cones and lay it out and then start programming your droid, all right? And so the next short little video clip is gonna show you uh, what I've programmed the Sphero Mini to get through this course, okay? And then we'll go back uh, and talk about what's next. And so there it is. So coaches, go ahead and pass out the course layout. Make sure that each group lays out the course exactly as it is on the handout. Um, make sure that it's measured properly and then allow them to go ahead and work through their programs. Now the goal of this challenge is not to actually have a winner, not this week. 
We're gonna save that for next session. But we really want you to use the programming to actually control your Spiro Mini to get through an obstacle course. And that's what the goal of this challenge is. So the remainder of the class is set aside for you to program your Spiro Minis to get through the obstacle course. Now, again, don't pay attention to the time or the speed. The goal here is just for you to get familiar with actually programming as a group, because you're working as a group um, to get through the obstacle course, all right? So these are some things to consider. And so a couple things to remember, make sure that everybody gets an opportunity to at least put a few commands into uh, the app to program your Sphero Mini. Now the goal is not speed, it's really just to get familiar with stacking different commands so that you can get your Sphero Mini through the obstacle course without any issues. And then next week, speed is gonna come into play. So keep that in mind for next week because next week is the competition. So hopefully you've had fun in this session. We'll see you in the next session. Come prepared to compete, come prepared to work as a group, and come prepared to program your Sphero Minis.